Good morning, it's Mrs. Haber again here from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. Welcome back to fourth grade math. We are on week six, day two, okay? Yesterday we just started the standard four MBT five, okay? So today our objective, we will be able to multiply whole numbers of up to one to four digits by a one digit whole number. And today we're gonna introduce multiplying two digit by two digit numbers, okay? All right, so again, yesterday I had our anchor chart posted for you. I hope that helps when you were doing your exit ticket. Um, I'm gonna leave it up here through the duration of the NBC5 lessons. So we're gonna focus again, if you see already I have my rectangle, we're gonna focus on that area model and I'm gonna show you the partial products as well, okay? So. You might say to yourself, 25 times three. This one, you might think is a little easy. So if you like to go shopping, which I do, and you have quarters, you know that four quarters make a dollar. So we know one quarter is 25 cents. Do you know how many three quarters is? Yeah, some of you know it's 75, like right off the bat. Okay, but let's say you, you weren't sure how to solve this equation, okay? we could use the area model. So I'm gonna get my color here. All right, so let's start. Remember, we're gonna say our width is three, and we're gonna decompose that 25, okay? So if we break apart 25, we know it's the same thing as two tens, 20, and five ones. Five. Okay. Now, when I'm finding area of each rectangle, I'm looking for my length times width. So let's start. 20 times 3. We know we can do 2 times 3 is 6. Let me show you. I should have wrote that first. Here we go. 2 times 3 equals six and I can tack on that zero because it's the same thing as six tens or 60 okay because it's in the tens place 60 all right and we have let's see we're going to do our five times three and we know that five times three oh, my pen's being silly here we go Five times three is 15. Now, what I recorded inside the box is the areas of each rectangle. These are also our partial products. So remember, a product is the answer to a multiplication problem, okay? So I'm gonna record up here my partial products. So I have 60 plus 15. Okay. Now I'm going to just erase so I have some room. I'm going to get this out of the way. So when we do 60 plus 15, what do we get? Good. If you said 75, awesome. Okay. And we knew, and like I said, some of us knew that in our head already, and that's okay. And then we could prove it also with this area model. And here's the partial products, okay? So now the reason I wanted to do the 25 times 3 is I want to show you how when we add a 0 to our 3 and we do a 2 digit by 2 digit, all we're doing is making the answer 10 times bigger. So let me show you, okay? Let's do this. We're going to make a new box and everything because I want to bring this over. So we're going to make our rectangle over here. Okay. And then we will put our equation on the side. It'll be easier for us to do our partial products. Okay. So we got 25. And I said I wanted to add, 
make it 10 times bigger. So we're going to do 25 times 30. Now you're probably like, this is a lot tougher than that last one. Okay, let me show you a trick. Okay, so if it's, if it's in the tens place, like if it's a multiple of 10, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do the area model. Okay, and this is what you'll show on your exit ticket as well today. So I'm still going to break it apart, but I'm going to keep that 30 over here. So like I, how I had the 3 over here, I'm just going to keep the 30 there. And we're going to still break apart that 25. So I have 20 plus 5. Now, we have that trick when we multiply with multiples of 10. Okay, We can add on those zeros at the end. So 2 times 3 we know is 6. And we got to add up those zeros. 1, 2. We have two zeros. Okay, so 20 times 30 equals 600. Plus, now we need to do our 5 times 30. So we have 5 times 3. We can do that first. We know it's 15. And we add on that 0. What you're going to notice between 25 times 3 and 25 times 30, the difference is this answer is going to be 10 times greater, okay? 10 times bigger. All right, so I'm going to record my partial products to show you. So 20 times 30 is the same thing as 60 tens or 600, okay? Plus, this partial product over here, 30 times 5 is the same thing as 15 tens or 150. All right, make sure you wind those up. When we add, awesome, we get 750. Now, if you notice, 750 is 10 times greater than 75, okay? All we did was tack that zero on. So guess what? If we did 300 times 25, guess what we would get? 7,500. It's going to get 10 times bigger each time, okay? Um, let's see. We have time for one more, and I'm going to kind of show you on a quick one. And if you notice today, you'll see one of those equations that I just did in your exit ticket. Okay, so I gave you a freebie again. All right, let's pick a new one. Let's see. And I'm just going to show you the area model part really quickly. Here we go. So you show me how you want to solve it. You can do partial products, the distributed property from yesterday, which is similar. Okay, and the area model. All right, let's do... Oops. I gotta get rid of that rectangle first. I would do 50 times, it doesn't matter, we can make it up 42. Now, see how I wrote it horizontally? It doesn't matter if it's vertical or horizontal, we're still multiplying, okay? So I'm gonna start with my area model, put it over here. So I'm gonna put the one the multiple of 10 on the side, 50, 42, I'm going to decompose, okay? So we're going to decompose that there, that one there. So I know 4 is in the tens place, it's the same as 40, plus 2 is in the ones place, we just call it 2, okay? I'm going to start easier and do my 50 times 2. I know that 5 times 2 is 10, and I have to add on that extra 0, because 10 tens equals 100. 50 times 40, 5 times 4, I'm going to start with, is 20. That's why those facts are super important to know. 1, 2, tack on two zeros. Don't forget to put your comma. 
And when I add up my 2,000 plus 100, you can do that mental math, 2,100. Okay, let's write that answer on the bottom. All right. Okay, so I'm going to show you the exit ticket. Um, go back and check out how I did the equations if you need some more help. And here you go, week six, day two, you're going to get a few with four digit by one digit, three digit by one digit, and then the rest are going to be your two by two. But if you notice, each one has a multiple of 10 in it. Okay. All right. Thank you. And have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow.